Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And this morning, I am coming to you with a collab that I have joined in on. I'm not hosting this collab. I just joined in on this collab. It is called Welcome to the Big Top Circus Collab 2021. This is hosted by none other than our amazing, crafty Susan Tootsie Tucker and Leslie's Crafty Creations. The two ladies put this uh, collab together. It will go for three weeks. It is Crafter's Choice, and it is all about the big top. The big top. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that. I actually stopped one video and started this one over because I couldn't say big top. <laughs> Anyways, um, so these two lovely ladies are hosting this collab. I believe that there is a 10 or so ladies in the collab. I will have all their channel links in the description box for you so you can go over and check out all their videos that they are doing um, and what they have created. So anyways, the theme is the big top, big top circus. That's gonna drive me nuts. Um, and it's crafter's choice, so you can do whatever you want. So you see here, Leslie sent me a little motivation treat envelope, and in there, she made me this pokey tool. Isn't that adorable? And it has um, some circus charms on there. It's got the big top, and it's got a lion, and it's got giraffes. But anyways, I thought I would use the pokey tool, the pokey tool to show you what i have made so i can point things out with it but leslie thank you so much for this this is so beautiful and this did motivate me i do want to try to make some of these in the future so today i've come to you with two different projects one project is something that's super easy to me i'm very comfortable with it and i've done several of them and you guys are going to know what that is of course for me that's pocket letters so i'm comfortable with it i didn't know quite what i wanted to make this week i had two other projects I want to do, but I'm going to do in the next two weeks. So I decided on making a pocket letter for today's collaboration. And um, pocket letters are so easy for me, but they're so relaxing because I've got them down pat. You know, I know how to do them now. I'm comfortable with them and I love doing them. So I did buy this paper pad um, through Amazon. It's right here, it's called Circus Party. And it just has all kinds of different circus themed paper in there. Let me tell you folks, the quality of the paper really is not that great. So I would not buy it again, but I did use it to make my, my um, squares or rectangles to put in my pocket letter. And they are all circus themed. So, of course, Jolie's has the most amazing stickers. And I had some of this bling right here. And I loved it because it was all these bling, shiny colors. And that's exactly what I think of when I think of circuses. When I think of circuses, I always think of red, blue, and yellow. Those seem to be the colors of a circus theme to me with the big top and um, whatnot. But anyways, I thought this bling was awesome because... Uh, it was very shiny and colorful. And then I did line the bling with some yellow bling that I had. I just noticed one of my little guys fell off. So I will have to get another one and put it on there, which I will. And then I have my yellow um, washi tape here. And then of course, like I said, the wonderful stickers all were from Jolie's or paper studio um and so i just had fun putting those here there and everywhere and i did have this rosette you saw that i hauled it is from paper studio and um i love it and so i put that on there and then i always do these curly ribbon on the side and i always say i'm going to try something different but every time I do, I always go back to the curly ribbon because I think it's so pretty. And it always, you can match the colors up to whatever the theme of your project is. So this was my pocket letter for today. This is really bugging me. That one little stone fell off right there. 
and I'm gonna fix that. I've got them, I know where they're at. I'm gonna add another one on there. And then on the back, I did not do any um, anything on the back. Before I get ready to send this out, I will put my information right here about me so they know it came from me. So here is my pocket letter. I hope you enjoy that. Now, my second project, I decided, you know what? I saw um, Nona Grace and she made some beautiful, beautiful rosettes. And I've seen all kinds of people making rosettes out of cupcake liners. How hard can it be, right? Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is something that I am not good at. I'm just starting and so they are horrible, but I have to keep it real for you folks. So I am gonna share them with you. This is my mission. I am going on a crafting retreat with my friend Mary. Uh, we're going in the end of October and the beginning of November, it's for five days. I'm gonna get these suckers down pat, even if I do it for a full day at our crafters retreat, because we can do whatever we want. We have to bring our supplies. So I tried to do, <laughs> <laughs> the cupcake liner and you know what it's just a matter of me learning to pinch it better and um, you know so there's the back they, I, I went off a tutorial from Robin's Nest um, and it was five years old but she's so soothing to listen to and um, so I this is how it came out but I know that with time and practice they'll get better so here was one of them. And this was another one. And this one was a little better, but it's like, I seriously need, oh, I know on this was my first one and I put the big rosette on both sides. And then I listened to her again and she said to put the bigger one on the back and the smaller one on the front. So that's what I did. This one is a little better here. I don't think the big row uh, of the big um, button looks bad either though. So there's the second one. And then this is the third one. And nothing on the back. I just left it blank because that's what you're gonna, you know, um, glue down with. And this is my fourth one. <laughs> you guys, I thought I was just gonna knock these right out and they're gonna be super cute and super easy. And you know, it's just like a coordination thing is really what it is. And so, like I said, I am tired of spending money on rosettes for them not to turn, you know, for, um, I mean, six little rosettes like that was on my pocket letter. They're $6, so that's a dollar a rosette. And so I am determined to get this down, but <laughs> for right now, that's how they turned out. I am i don't even know what I'll do with them. I don't know if I'll save them to I, put them on my wall as an example of how I started out, but Robins were all uniform and all beautiful. And that's my goal. I'm gonna try to um, get better at these. So I did the pocket letter that I'm very comfortable with and I enjoy doing. And then I did these rosettes <laughs> that were kind of a bomb, but Oh, well, it's okay. I'm, I'm learning, right? And I'm being real with all you folks. So, um, come back next week, next Saturday. We will have week two of Crafter's Choice of Welcome to the Big Top Circus Collab. Thank you, Susan and Leslie, for having me. And, uh, Hopefully my project next week will be a little better than this week. So you guys go check out everybody else. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.